Kapalit pa ako. At hinigay nila po ang oras na ito para ikaw at pagkulihan at bigyan ng kanilang uh, oras to their God. Panginoon, sa oras na ito, nakaas ko ang gawain na ito, Panginoon, sa simula hanggang sa muli, oh Lord God, samahan mo kami. I-bless mo ang bawat uh, parte ng, uh, ng uh, service na inaalay namin sa iyo sa oras na ito, oh Lord God, sa instruments, sa praise and worship, and then sa inyong sa iyong words all right God lalong lalo na all right God haleluya at sa mga tao na nanonood sa amin online all right God bless you po sila ang kanilang mga puso ay nanonood sa amin maraming salamat po kami na all right kami po ang pinapalit pili sa araw at sa oras dito all right God maraming salamat at nandito pa parati sa amin thank you Jesus in Jesus name and in Jesus name Amen Amen Okay. Hallelujah, hallelujah, Jesus. Panginoon, um, uh, alam namin, upatid namin, O Lord God, nandito ka sa amin at kami po ay yung sinasama. Ang mga tao kung nandito ay pinigyan ka ng oras, O Lord God. Kung kaya, Panginoon, pigyan mo rin po, ibalik mo rin po sa kanila, Panginoon, na yung kalakasan, O Lord God, kung yung din po joy sa kanilang mga puso, sa kanilang mga pamilya, O Lord God. Sa lahat ng mga blessing na pinigay mo sa amin sa mga nagdaang araw, maraming salamat, Panginoon. Lalo, lalo rin sa amin, Help, O Lord God, sa pagiging happy ng bawat isa sa amin, including our families, O Lord God, thank you, Jesus. At sa lahat ng form ng blessing, Panginoon, financially and spiritually, O Lord God, thank you for everything. We believe in you so much, Christ, O Lord God. Hallelujah. Panginoon, ano man, ano man po ang mga dalain ng kanilang mga puso, O Lord God. Alam ko, Panginoon, sa iyo yung pinapakinggan, O Lord God. Alam ko, Panginoon, na nananatili sila sa iyo, O Lord God. Ikaw, parati ang kanilang mga ang kanilang gabay sa buhay nila. Alam po, Panginoon, kung ano man po ang uh, naisin o meron man silang pinagdataan ng Lord God. Ikaw ang pinag-isuray nila at ikaw ang kanilang uh, uh, mag- answer sa kanilang mga players at sa kanilang mga problema o Lord God. So, ibigay mo ang kanilang mga kanilingan, Panginoon, sa salangin. Salangin ko ito, Panginoon, para sa kanilang o Lord God. Alam ko na yung hindi dyan ka para sa kanilang Hallelujah. Hallelujah. <laughs> Pero bago ang lahat, basahin muna natin ang proklamasyon sa araw na ito sa Jeremiah 33. Tatlo, tatlo. At basahin po natin ng sabay-sabay. Amen? Tumawag ka sa akin at ako'y sasawag sa iyo. At ako'y magpapagkita sa iyo ng atakid ng ilangpagan at mahihirap na hindi mo nang nalalaman. Sa pangla. Amen? Aleluya. Kirimayas, tatong pong tatlo, tatlo. Amen? Tumawag ka sa akin at ako'y sasunod sa iyo. At ako'y magpapakita sa iyo na manangin na ng bagay na mahirap na hindi mo maalaman. Amen. Para lalo natin maintindihan, Pasahin natin sa Banyaga. Ang sabi niya sa English, sa Jeremiah 33, verse 3 says, Call unto me, and I will answer thee, and show thee, great and mighty things, which thou knowest not. Yan, yan. Amen? Hallelujah. So, magpunta tayo sa Panginoon at uh, kung ano man yung mga dalangin natin, sabi niya, sasagutin ko kayo. Kaya ibigay niyo na kayo sa Kanya, yung mga dalangin ninyo, hindi ko alam. Ako may sarili akong dalangin sa Kanya. Alam ko, pagkatangos ng pagpupuri, pagpapasalamat na 
namin sa kanya ngayon ay sasagutin niya tayo dahil yan ang salita niya. Amen? Hallelujah! So halika lang mga kapatid. Hallelujah!
ni Isnor mo sa atin dahil sa pilyon ng Panginoon tayo ay masaya. Amen? Kaya inataas natin sa hako na ito ang ating banal na Panginoon sa ating mga puso. Hindi sa ating mga labi. Pero sa kanta na ito, taas po natin siya ng magkalubog-lubog sa Kanya. Amen? Hallelujah. Para ay tanggapin ang ating pag-uuri at pag-isang basta niya sa ating sa hako na ito. Amen?
oh Lord, hallelujah. Dahil ang mahal namin, Panginoon, ay napakabuti sa ating lahat. Napakaganda ang kanyang buhay sa ating buhay na dahil sinasamba natin siya, pinupuri natin siya. Siya ang nagbibigay lakas ng ating buhay. Thank you. And we sit down. Uh, no, we had to stand and continue dahil mag-pray-pray po tayo. Dahil we had to pray the, the prayer points na kahit, kahit, kahit kunti lang na prayer dahil ang mahal natin Panginoon ay tayo ay pumunta dito para sambahin siya. Let us pray, Panginoon ko na naway lahat ng mga kapatiran na hindi pa nakakadalo sa nahanag ito ay God will touch their heart. Ipag-pray natin sa mahal natin, Panginoon, na naway lahat ng mga kapatiran na hindi pa nakakadalo sa tahanan ito ay God will touch their heart to come this place, O God Lord. Let us pray the rest to pray. Father, we thank you so much, O God Lord, Father God, na naway, O God Lord, Father God, ang lahat ng mga kapatiran, O God Lord, Father God, na hindi mo pa natadala sa tahanan ito, O God Lord, Father God, Lord, hipuhin mo ang kanilang puso, Panginoon ko. Ikaw, O God Lord, Father God, ang hihipo sa kanilang buhay na naway, Lord, in 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 inagay mo sa tahanan ito, O God Lord, Father God, ang mga tao hindi pa, O God Lord, nakakarating sa tahanan ito, O God Lord, Father God. We thank you so much, O God Lord, Father God, in Jesus' name we have prayed. Amen. At itadangin din natin ang ating mahal na pastor na si Pastor Bam na ipagpatuloy niya ang kanyang pag-preach uh, ng kanyang uh, uh, salita dito sa uh, gospel na ito na naway bigyan siya ng mahal natin Panginoon ang kanyang lakas na patuloy siya at ganun din ang kanyang mga pamilya na naway mabuti ang kanilang uh, kalagayan at ang kanilang buhay. Ipag-pray natin mga mahal na kapatid. Lord, itinataas namin o Gador Father God ang buhay ng aming pastor o Gador Father God na uh, tulungan mo po siya o God Lord at, uh, at ituro mo o God Lord Father God sa kanya ng lahat ng kanyang uh, pagturo sa amin o God Lord Father God at naway Lord may apply namin sa aming buhay at naway Lord Father God bigyan mo pa siya o God Lord Father God ng maraming katuruan o God Lord Father God bigyan mo pa siya o God Lord Father God na more knowledge and wisdom o God Lord Father God we thank you o Jesus o God Lord in Jesus name we had pray amen italangin din natin ang mga choir na naway patuloy na laging masiglag malakas na wala pong karamdaman ng bawat isa sa mga choirs o God Lord ang mga taga-kanta mga taga-play ng mga instrument Lord italangin natin Lord Lord na naway Lord naway pag itinataas namin o God Lord Father God ang lahat ng mga choirs o God Lord Father God na ginagamit po dito sa harapan o God Lord lahat ng mga na play play ng mga guitars, Lord, mga piano, at saka drums, O God Lord, Father God, at mga taga-kanta, O God Lord, Lord, bigyan mo po sila, O God Lord, Father God, ng maayos na boses at pagkanta, O God Lord, Father God, and also your words, O God Lord, Father God, na maayos, O God Lord, Father God, ang kanilang salita, O God Lord, na tama ang kanilang kinakanta, O God Lord, Father God, at magandang boses ang ipagkakalo po sa kanila, O God Lord, Father God. We thank you so much, O God Lord, Father God, in Jesus' name we pray. Amen. At nagpapasalamat din, O God, ng uh, Lord, salamat sa iyo, Panginoon ko, ang taong, O God, Lord, na nabibigyan ng mga tracks at mga flyers na dinadala namin, O God, Lord, sa mga mga par, uh, sa labas, O God, Lord, sa far or even though na other places, O God, Lord, Father God, salamat sa kanilang buhay, O God, Lord, Father God, na dinadala mo, O God, Lord, Father God, lahat ng mga nakakalitip, O God, Lord, ang mga salita mo, Panginoon ko, itinadala din ko, O God, Lord, Father God, iyan ang iniiyak ko palagi sa iyo, Panginoon ko, na naway, O God, Lord, ang mga hawak, ang mga tracks, O God, Lord, Lord, nandito, O oh God, Lord, ang kapatiran, O oh God, Lord, na naway, Lord, ginawa mo, O oh God, Lord, ng lahat, O oh God, Lord, naniniwala ako, O oh God, Lord, Father God, na ikaw ay buhay, Panginoon ko, naway, O oh God, Lord, Father God, ipagpatuloy mo, O oh God, Lord, ang iyong pagpapahal sa iyong mga anak, O oh God, Lord, na nawawala sa kanilang landas, Lord, I pray, O oh God, Lord, Father God, you bring more, O oh God, Lord, Father God, lahat ng mga nakalisip ng mga flies at tracks, O oh God, Lord, Father God, salamat, O oh God, Lord, sa buhay ng tao, na naririto ngayon, O oh God, Lord, Father God, dahil alam niya, O oh God, Lord, na, na hindi masama ang pag-abot ko sa kanya, kundi kabutihan, Panginoon ko, in Jesus' name, we have pray, Amen. Salamat din po, O oh God, Lord, Father God, sa malapit, O oh God, Lord, na anibarsari, na nga gapila, O oh God, Lord, Father God, itinataas ko sa iyo, Panginoon ko, ng lahat ng mga magagamit, O oh God, Lord, Father God, we thank you so much, O God, Lord, Father God, sa lahat ng mga nakaprovide, O God, Lord, Father God, lahat ng nakaprovide, O God, Lord, Father God, for the anniversary, O God, Lord, Father God, Lord, give back more the blessing of our time, O God, Lord, Father God, in Jesus' name, hallelujah, Lord, we thank you, O God, Lord, Father God, and glorify your name, have mercy on us, O God, Lord, Father God, in Jesus' name, we have pray, amen, thank you, Jesus, thank you, Lord, amen. Amen. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Are you already?
already blessed? Yes. Okay, magsi upo po tayo. Sit like a queen and kings in the house. Amen. Uh, sino sa atin ang, ang um, first time na umatin dito sa atin niya? May nakikita ko dalawa? Yes. Please mga kapatid, uh, magsi tayo uh, tumayo po tayo at uh, makisabi ang yung pangalan at kung sino ang nag-invite sa inyo dito. Gathering ng Agape Love Church. Um, may may uh, meron kaming ano dito na every time na may bago, may papasok dito na sa sama sa amin sa fellowship. Um, dito sa yung puso at kaibuturan ng yung puso, manalangin ka, sabihin mo kay Lord. Kasi dito, ang alam namin na ang Panginoong Jesus, ang ating sinasamba ay sumasagot sa ating mga panalangin. Pagkakataon mo na ito, kapatid. Panalangin mo, susuportahan ka namin para ang Diyos na buhay ay sasagutin niya ang iyong mga kailangan. Amen. Let's pray for her. Father in heaven, we thank you so much for your daughter that came for the first time this afternoon, O oh God. Dalangin namin, Panginoon, nanaway lahat ng kanyang hinaing sa hapong ito, Panginoon. Lord, alam namin na inyong sasagutin, na inyong um, pagpalain sa hapong ito, ang inyong anak na narito, Panginoon. Lord, we know whatever her heart's desire this afternoon, O oh God, her employer, her family, people surround her. Lord, I pray that you're going to cover protection from from anything that is not of you, O oh Lord. Protect your daughter, O oh God, this afternoon and, and all her family members, all that is close to her. Lord, I pray that you're going to open your wings to cover your daughter in the name of Jesus. Thank you, dear Lord. In Jesus' mighty name we pray. And um, I encourage everyone to, in, to invite your friends. Every Sunday, please visit them. Thank you. Invite your neighbor. Amen. Ang ating activities during the week, Wednesday, we have Bible study from 8 p.m. to 9 p.m. via Zoom. If we are free, every Wednesday, we can join. Amen. The link... Uh, our leaders sent the link to our group and every Friday we have our night vigil ele uh, start from 11.45 to 1 to 2 something like that and good news next month May 14 is a Mother's Day right? Yeah. Mother's is it not Mother's Day on 14? And another thing is we have our second year anniversary. Are you happy? Yes. Amen. Give the Lord a cup of rain. Invite everyone you know. Let's share the um, e fly e, e flyer that already in our group. Send as many as you can. Amen. Amen. And every day there is a Bible reading by Yasum. 1 o'clock every day, 1 p.m. And kung hindi kayo maka-join in the afternoon, pwede kayong mag-join ng gabi, 8 o'clock sa gabi. Amen. June 22, ano meron? Family outing. Agape Love Family Outing. Are you ready to join? Surprise. Somewhere. Somewhere along the way. God is waiting for us there. Amen. All right. Sino ang mag, magbibigay testimony sa Panginoon? Sister Agnes. One minute. 
Thank you, Lord. Because ito is matagal ko na gusto sabihin. I'm so sorry. This is the this is the time I'm waiting for. This is uh, I, it's hard to to say, but I have to I'm just started. It's a long time. Um. Yes, you are right. Maybe there is a rumor. You hear? Yes, you are right. After I go back to Philippines, when I come back, I am terminated. Yes, but God have a plan for me. Because before, I don't have time to go to church every Sunday. Now, God have a plan for me. And somebody use, because if God is planted or blessed you, any each of us God will use and I thank God somebody used that one and then sister Susan help me to find the employer yes I thank God and then when I go through in the process and everything it's hard because sometimes if we sometimes it's hard to say this one because Everything is in my heart. This is my battle that you never, you don't know. It's only me, God, and the pastors. I tell this only for six people. Because sometimes if I tell my story, so, uh, somebody will tell, you will put you down. Instead, you put you up. This is the real, this is what happened these days. Now, yes. I thank God that God used Ati Susan to help me. What and then when I go to the immigration, all the process I go in there. I thought I'm going back to the Philippines because I'm terminated. I go for a third floor and then go down to second floor. Somebody's saying that I go back to the Philippines. So now it's in my instinct. I go to find the inquire. I go to inquire, inquiry, and then I go to number fourteen. And then number fourteen said, "You go back to the Philippines." I said, "I still go back to the second floor." And then I said, "It's still in my heart that you have to go to number ten." So I go to number ten, and then that number ten, I go, and then I asked, and then everything my question he answered. I said. Do I need to go to Do I need to go to the Philippines to wait for my visa? He said, "No, you have to wait here in the Hong Kong." I said, "I say that because I don't have, but I have money, but it's not enough for everything." Yes, thank you, Lord God. And then why? And then at the time of I process my paper while I'm waiting, while I'm waiting for the process of the paper. There is the devil using another thing that he want to cut my visa. That he want to cut my visa. That is the the problem that I'm suffering now. And you know, yes, you know, you are just only a person, but you just you are useless. I'm so sorry, but I still love you. You are yes. I'm so sorry. And then this, oh Lord God, I thank God, oh God. And then I know I still have the fighting the battle, oh Lord God. That give this, that God give me the visa. And then before I get the visa, the employer asked, the employer will ask to tell to tell me. To tell the person go to immigration, tell this to go and get the visa, but she never tell me. And then the, the employer called me, go to immigration, go to immigration, and go and get your visa. Why? Why this person? She never tell that I will go to fight the visa. Why? And then this is my fight. So this is my fight. After I get my visa, we have the. That we have to celebrate, but no, but no, but there is another plan when I get my visa. You know, now you think I'm just like this. This is my battle. This is my battle. This and I think that God is for me also. That there is another plan that after I get 
the beast that there is another plan that three or six months demon. They will they will get my visa. It's it's your it's the devil's plan. It's the yes, 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 I got this all of the this is the one this coming. This is gonna pray Psalm twenty Psalm seventy three say this is my prayer. May those who want to take my love, to put the shame and confusion, may all who desire to ruin my turn back into disgrace. Father God, everybody of us, we have the battle to fight. Please pray for every battle that we fight. Pray for us. Thank you, Lord God, in Jesus' name. Amen. Everybody, we have Jesus is the real fighter for our our battles in Jesus' name. Any one of us, Father God, I pray that you're going to fight all our battles because God, God hears our prayer. God will see us through in Jesus' name. Amen. So don't don't worry, my sister. God is already there fighting your battles. Amen. If God say yes. Nobody can say no. Amen. Now let's all stand up and give our offering unto the Lord. Amen. How good it is to give thanks unto the Lord. How good it is to give thanks unto our God. For He heals the broken heart. children has given. Lord, I pray that you're going to multiply this token in Jesus' name. Amen. Sanctify this, Lord, as we use this amount for the furtherance of your kingdom here on earth in Jesus' name. Amen. Thank you, dear Lord. In Jesus' mighty name we pray. Amen. Hallelujah! Hallelujah! Amen! Amen. 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 Let us all stand and we will sing our hymn. Amen. Ang hymn sabi ng hymn ay Have faith in God when your pathway is lonely. Amen. He sees and knows all the way you have trod. So my sister, I, I hope you, you hear this one, right? Never alone are the least of his children. Have faith in God. Have faith in God. Amen. Hallelujah.
prayer points and want us to pray. And the person that prayed better will receive the big, bigger, better blessing. Amen. Amen. Say, Father, Father, all the blessings in this week, all the blessings in this week, give them to me now. Give them to me now. Amen. Amen. If you are two standing and the person beside you is praying better than you, the person will receive it. Amen. 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 Do you understand? Because the Spirit of God is here. Amen. Say, Father, Father, all the blessings in this week, give them to me now. In the name of Jesus, open your mouth and pray your prayer. Father, all the blessings in this week, gather them together and give them to me. In the name of Jesus, Father, all the blessings in this week, all the joy, all the favor, Give them to me now. In the name of Jesus, Father, give them to me. Open your mouth and pray. Please pray, pray, pray. This is important. This is important. This is important. Give them to me, Father. In Jesus' name, we are praying. Now, as I was coming out, the Holy Spirit reminded me uh, about 12 years ago, I think I need an interpreter. I need someone who can interpret in the Uh 21 years ago, what do you say, Stan? Can Sister Susan interpret? Can you? Not really. You want to try? I went to a mountain. I said I wanted to pray for 21 days. It was, uh, you know, the week, month of my birth. So, alone. So, as I was there, I said I just that month I wanted to pray a lot for myself. So I went to a mountain and I was there praying. Then the Holy Spirit came to me and said, I know you want to seek my face, but I need you in the city. So I, you want me to go to, no, I want to pray for myself. I said, no. I did not ask you to come. I know you want to seek my face out of passion. You came here 21 days. You don't want to minister. You don't want to fellowship with other people. You just want to be here. You know, he said it's good, but I want you to go back to the city. After arguing for like two days, because I continued to stay, I said, okay, I will go. So I went. It was a Sunday. So I decided to fellowship in a church like you are now. So I was somewhere in the middle. 
Then the pastor was preaching in English, I think. He was preaching in English. But the community, many people, they used to speak Yoruba there. But the man was speaking in English. And the Holy Spirit said to him, where I was standing? They don't know me there. Okay? This is just a community I went to pray. And my brother is living in that area. If I didn't go to that place, I just went on my own. And the Holy Spirit said, go and interpret for that pastor. Oh, imagine now, the Holy Spirit is telling you, come and interpret for me in Tagami. Although we know you here, but imagine it's the first time you are coming. And the Holy Spirit is telling you, come and speak for this person. When he speaks in English, you speak in the language people understand. I said, no, I can't do that. Well, I know it's the Holy Spirit. So how did I overcome it? I said, Holy Spirit, if you are the one, tell the pastor to come and tell me by himself. Amen? You know, my eyes were closed, right? I was in the crowd, my eyes were closed, and I was, Holy Spirit, okay, tell him to come and tell me by himself. The man was already on the altar because he was calling prayer. So just like we did now, people were praying. All of a sudden, within less than one minute, I had, I'm telling you, I'm on the altar. When I opened my eyes, it was the pastor right in front of me. Can you interpret? Can you interpret? I said, yes, sir. So okay, please come. Get me the mic. First time. Amen. Amen. So when you have challenges like this, God is always looking for a David. God, there are many Goliaths to be killed. So now we need the office of interpreter is open. So when I speak in English, I want somebody who is very fast and can speak in Italian. Amen. 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 So if you are that person, go and pray. I won't even say go and pray. You can start now. Can come and stay here. Amen. Yeah, it's simple. Praise Jesus. You are going to pray second prayer. God, one day like that, we went to a mountain and we prayed for a we pray one prayer. God, give me a helper that is more than a thousand helpers. You know what that means? Just one person. And God gave me. I've shared it in Joy Center before. And they posted me to pastor a church in a, a new location. I didn't know anybody here. The woman, one woman there, I wanted to get apartments in that area. And the place is very costly. There are rich people there. She went and found a place. And called me, I was doing my master. I said, Pastor, I found a place. I didn't even have the money. I said, Pastor, I have more money. Let me pay. She paid for me. Amen. She went cleaned everywhere. And then as I was sitting down, Judge, one man, they said the man is very stingy. My friends know him. Say, very stingy man. He called me and said, ah, I heard they promoted you now a pastor, they post you to another parish. He said, yes. He said, ah, give me the address, I'm coming. He said, no problem. When he came, you know what he did? He brought one big TV. Wow. Amen. He <laughs> took it to my room. I said, it was not enough. The same woman now, another, this woman that, but uh, pay for the place. He said, Pastor, you will need mattress. You will need furniture. One woman is selling furniture. She bought the furniture. Put it there. Amen. Amen. My house was sent. Praise God. Hallelujah. So, ministry was easier. I want you to pray that prayer. This week. This week. Lord, give me a helper. Lord, give me a that helper. That is more than one million helpers. More than one million helpers in Please pray that prayer. It can be one man like boss to your roof. It can be a boss to your roof that will solve all the problems. Father, give me a helper that is more than a thousand helpers this week. In the name of Jesus, I want to come here and share the testimony. Please pray that prayer. Close your eyes and talk to the Lord. Lord Jesus, this week we ask for a faithful helper. We ask for a destiny helper. Lord, I ask this week for a helper that is more than a million helpers. In my life, in my ministry, in my happy love, we ask Lord for a helper that is more than a thousand helpers. Thank you, Father. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. The third prayer before you sit down is Father. 
if for any reason my name is not in the book of life. My name is not in the book of life. Please, Please Lord, write it now. Write it now. Amen. Do you understand? Yes, sir. He uh -huh. said in Revelation chapter 3, verse 5, he said some people's name will be blotted out. Hmm. They were born again, but because they did something, they said we'll take his eraser. You know, there is my son the eraser. Say we'll remove their names. Say, I will not blot out your name from the book of life. You know the meaning of book of life? That is the book of Jesus. Only people that belong to him, their names are there. So when the rapture sounds, only the people in that book will be raptured. Five minutes before the rapture, somebody's name may be there. Then that same five minutes, he will misbehave. Somebody will just see your head. He say, you talk to me like that? Ah, when I was not born again, I used to be very crazy. Because I'm born again now, you insult me, she will go and take bottle. Ah, break bottle, she wants to fight. And Jesus take a pencil, eraser, remove the name. And rapture. And she has the bottle in her hand. Say, ah, Jesus, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. It's too late. It's too what? Too late. Too late. Ah, she has been trying to live holy. Then one man came, say, I love you. Then both of them enter your room. Commit fornication. Five minutes before the rapture. And the rapture sound, Ooh, the angel blow the trumpet. She will be there with the man. The Antichrist will meet them there. He said, ah, Jesus, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. It is too late. It is too late. Do you understand? It's not a laughing matter. It's a serious matter. Say, Lord Jesus. Lord Jesus. If my name is not in the book of life, please write it now. In the name of Jesus, I believe you are praying that prayer. Lord Jesus, if my name is not in the book of life, please write. Please, I need somebody to interpret for me. Amen. Otherwise, I will not preach. Amen. The Holy Spirit says I should call someone. Otherwise, I won't preach. Please sit down. Anybody? I'm serious. I won't preach. I, I can't preach. Said I should call someone. Even if it's today, you are going to do it. <laughs> Amen. And God empower. Let's pray for her. The Lord strengthen you in Jesus' name. Amen. Yeah, he said, call someone. So I, I will preach. If I don't say anybody, we'll just sing and we'll go home. Amen. When he speaks, you will be. Amen. Amen. Father, please strengthen her. Thank you for your faithfulness. Let her sins be blotted out. And let her name also be written in the book of life. In Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. Praise God. Praise God. Amen. Amen. How do you say amen in Tagalog? Amen. amen. Uh, so when I say amen, you say amen. Amen. Uh -huh. You are going to move here. Let's <laughs> start guys. Let's close up. Amen. amen. There is always a first time. Yes. There is always a first time. <laughs> yeah, you should say it. Uh, yeah, we have started already. Uh, there is always a first time. The teaching. What are you saying to others? Just feel free. Okay, I see you are talking. Okay. Matthew chapter twelve. Verse 37. Please don't focus on that. Just take your Bible and let's let her get confidence. Matthew chapter 12, verse 37. What are you saying to others? For by thy words, 
thou shalt be justified. And by thy words, thou shalt be condemned. Amen? Amen. Amen. By thy words. Not by the words of God. By your words. How are you using your tongue? Matthew chapter 7 verse 1 to 5 Matthew 7 verse 1 to 5 Judge not that ye be not judged for with what judgment ye judge ye shall be judged and with what measure ye met, it shall be measured to you again. Judge not, so that you will not be judged. Jesus is saying that if you judge other people, he will also judge you. Be careful what you say about other people because others too will say it about you others we also say that about you Proverbs 18.21 Proverbs chapter 18 verse 21 can we read it together Proverbs Natin, uh, natin, 18 verse 21. Are you there, ma? Everybody, let's read what to go. Death and life, and life are, are in, power in the power the of the tongue. And, and they that love it shall eat, eat the fruit the thereof. Now, what is this saying? If you love death, you will use your tongue to work death. Sagamitin mo ang iyon dila para sa kamatayan. And you will get death. At at magtakaron ka rin ng kamatayan. If you love life, at kung minamahal mo ang iyong buhay, you will use your tongue to talk life. Sagamitin mo ang iyon dila para sa buhay. And life will come to your life. At ang buhay ay ay idarating sa iyong buhay. So whether death or life, your tongue will decide it. Your tongue can kill. And your tongue can give life to people. Everybody touch your tongue. Say my tongue. My tongue. You can give life. You can give life. And you can also kill. But as from today, you will only give life. And kill the devil. Give life to people. Kill the devil. Amen. Of course, when you see Satan, you don't just say that. Oh, I love you with the love of the Lord. Do you say that to Mr. Satan? No. no. <laughs> or you see a witch. The witch wants to use charm against you. Choo, 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 choo. I say, hey, may that your charm work on me. Will you do that? No. You kill the charm. Some of you don't know how to kill you. Let's say someone is using charms now, and you can see the charm in the hand of the person. What do you do? You know, charms are just ordinary things put together. But they say some things to them, and they need the help of evil spirits to be able to work. So when someone brings charm to you, what do you do? You bind the spirit working in that charm. In the name of Jesus. And it will become useless. Do you understand? Yes, sir. 
Now that you look, don't keep quiet. Say something. It's your tongue. Everything you are doing there will not work in the name of Jesus. And the child will spoil. Amen. Don't worry. Continue, continue. continue. There is always a first time. James chapter 3. Verse 8 to 10. Don't worry, we'll be doing it every week. Next Sunday will be Sister Anita. Next Sunday, Sister Nali. Okay, Sister Zeni. Uh -huh. okay. Next will be Sister Esther. She will speak in Indonesia. Amen. And Sister Julie. And then Ademalet. Don't worry, we'll rotate it like that. <laughs> See what, what she's doing now, and huh? you will. Some of you are correcting her, which is fine. By the time you come here, <laughs> <laughs> you get what I'm trying to say. Yes, when you stand here, the Tagalog will fly away. Go home already. Come on, it's too far away to come with Jesus. Oh my God. <laughs> In James chapter 3, verse 8 to 10, the Bible says, But the tongue can no man take. It is an unruly evil, full of deadly poison. Just summarize it. But the tongue can no man take. Yeah, just what it's trying to say is the tongue is bad. So you can say it in Tagalog. The tongue is bad. And that is. That's one skill. When somebody is reading the Bible and you want to interpret, just summarize it the way it comes to you. Okay? The tongue is bad. Say it in Tagalog. That is it. Okay? Dear with bless with God, even the Father, and dear with curse with men, which are made after the similitude of God. Out of the same mouth proceeded. Do you see that? Blessing and cursing. That's verse 10. My brethren, these things ought not so to be. Out of the same mouth proceeded blessing and cursing. There is power in your tongue. Now, let me say something very, 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 very carefully. And listen very carefully. Tell somebody, keep your tongue. Say, no, I didn't say keep your mouth shut. That's how it's starting. <laughs> that one is a professor. Are you a professor of statistics? Keep your tongue. Keep, keep your destiny. Keep your destiny. Say to someone, keep your tongue. Keep your, tongue. Keep your destiny. Some of you have beautiful dreams. Maybe you slept and you have a fine dream. It's not everybody you can tell. Hey, sister, do you know that I just had a dream right now? Oh my God, I found myself in America. Wow. I was dancing, dancing. And the person asking me spirit, she says in her heart, you want to go to America? Go for it. And in her spirit, she's already fighting you. Because you don't know how to zip, zip off, close up, no close up. Tell somebody, keep your tongue. Keep your tongue. It's not every battle you're supposed to fight. See, there are some problems some people enter because of their tongue. If that problem will not have come, if not that you open your mouth and you talk. Somebody can call you from the Philippines. Hey, hello, Nalin. Hello, Marisa. How are you? So I'm fine. How are you now? How much is your salary? Hey, my salary is 6000 <laughs> And then you tell her. And then she calculates. She converts it to Filipino pesos, right? Yeah. So, ah, big money. 
big money she's collecting. Then she won't talk the following week. She will say, ah, my daughter, Nali, I was running, running is a lie. I fell down, my leg is broken. Please send me money. And you say there is, you will say, ah, sorry, there is no money. Ah, and you are collecting six thousand on Kong dollars. Now I ask you for money. You say there is no money. She will go to witchcraft house. Juju said, "Help me to do something against her." Do you understand what I'm saying? Am I wasting your time? Keep your tongue. The same with your children and your grandchildren. I know you are proud of them. But what I'm saying is real. I know you are proud of them. Keep your tongue. It's not everybody that needs to hear how they are doing. Not everybody. Not everybody. Imagine Mary, the mother of Jesus. When Herod wanted to kill Jesus. What did she do? She carried the baby and ran away to Egypt. Am I correct? Yes, sir. The angel appeared and said, take this child, go to Egypt, because somebody wants to kill him. That is the Son of God. They have to hide Jesus till he becomes like maybe age 12 or so. Then he came back. They have to hide him because somebody wanted to kill him. If Jesus has stayed in Bethlehem, Herod would have killed him. And people say, ah, the prophecy of God failed over him. God said he's going to be the savior, but sorry, he died at the age of 12. At the age of two, two, I'm sorry. So it's the mother that was what? That did not lose her senses. But Mary carried Jesus with Joseph. They ran away to Egypt. Sometimes you need to run. Sometimes you need to hide your information. Yes, sometimes you need to hide your children. Are you following? Yeah. The Holy Spirit, sometimes you just feel like that house, don't go there. It's not you. Something will just tell you, now you are going, don't go to your family house, don't go there until next year. It's possible. The Holy Spirit can tell you, you want to travel? Your family, it will just be coming. You are just feeling uneasy. Anytime you want to go to your family house, somebody will just say, Don't go there, don't go there. It's the Holy Spirit talking to you. Don't say, hey, It doesn't matter. It doesn't matter. And then you go there, you show up. Oh my. I'm still very young. But if I tell you some of the few things I have seen, some of you, you have, I'm already telling you a few, you may not be. You know where your person Jesus did. So keep your tongue and keep your destiny. Tell somebody, keep your tongue and keep your destiny. Keep your children and keep their destinies. Keep your loved ones and keep their destinies. Number two. Listen attentively to people. Whenever they are condemned or criticized. If somebody comes to you now and says, this person has done this and this and this and this and this, I reported the person to you, don't ever open your mouth and say, ah, that woman is bad. That. You call the person that they are reporting to you and ask the person. Yes, that bad. Kung may may uh, may mga tayo sa ating sarili, involved. Everyone deserves to be heard before they are judged. Everyone. Don't ever judge people based on what you hear about them. It may be wrong. It may be wrong. And then you judge them already. And God will say, you judge my daughter, I punish you. And then when problems start, you start praying. You say, I don't know where the problem is coming from. It may be because of somebody you judged. 
because you heard about the person, you now judge the person, and God said, okay, you, you judge someone, I will teach you a lesson. So when you hear something about somebody, don't do what? Don't judge. At least a good pastor will tell you that one. Many problems come from there too. And you won't know what you have done. You begin to say, what have I done? What have I done? Number three. I said this one last week and I will repeat it. Use words that edify people, that help people. Use kind words to people. Amen? Number four. Speak with honor. Speak with honor. Uh-huh. Don't just lambast people because you have higher status than them in the Philippines. So when they call you, you just say, Get out! Who is on the phone? It's a uh, one woman on the street. You see that woman that used to pick something to resell? That woman has not changed. Then she gives you the phone, say, You for I left huh? Philippines 12 years ago. Now you are still what you used to be when I was living. You are so useless. Can't you plan your, plan your life? And you are telling somebody like that. And God is listening to you. And you think you will be happy. Even if that person is worse than anything. That person is still in the image of God. Remember that. That person is God's image. You have no right to yes, talk I down to somebody. Yes, I told you this one again last week and I will repeat it. Give hope. Give hope to people. Let your words be seasoned with salt. People may come to you and say they have problems. Okay? I have this problem. I have that problem. Don't say, ah, this problem, there is no solution. Don't do that. Oh, sorry. God will help you. God can do it. Let's pray. That's what you should say. Number next, speak the truth in love. I said this one last Sunday also. Now I want to complete with this. So much. Use filters. This is where we are going to hang up prayer. Use filters. Filters. Do you know what is not filter? Uh, do you know that here yeah, see that you used to see something maybe you cook rice right you parboil the rice there's still water in the rice you know you use something like a sieve right you pour the, so the water will come out and then the rice will be inside that thing strainer what strainer strainer what you can call the filter or you call it a sieve okay good now how does it apply to communication three there are two types of filters. Please write in this wisdom of God. Two types of filters. Number mm-hmm. one filter is nah. in the world, in philosophy. Mm-hmm. And the second one is biblical. Mm-hmm. So which one should I tell you first? Philosophy. The philosophy is just three. The biblical is eight. Now, let me tell you philosophy first. There was this man, he's a philosopher. And uh, somebody came, wanted to tell him about another person. And the person said, I have something to tell you. He said, wait. You know I'm a philosopher. Before you tell me, let me ask you three questions. Number one. Now listen, you can write it down. Truthfulness. That's the first thing. That's the first seed. Truthfulness. Truthfulness. What you he asked the person, what you want to tell me, is it the truth? Sinabi niya sa tao na kung ang 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 sasabi mo sa kanya ay katotohanan. Is it the truth? Write it down. Is it the truth? You must always ask. 
what this person is telling me or what to tell me, is it the truth? So he asked the person, you know what the person said? He said, I, I am not sure. But I heard it from somebody. And I think I need to tell you. So number one, he's not sure it's the truth. So okay, let's go to the second. Goodness. That's the second filter. Goodness. Goodness. What you want to tell me now? Is it good about that person? Or it will destroy the image of that person. Or makakasama sa sa imahe ng taongyon. Ah, he said, ah, it's bad though. It's terrible. It will spoil his image. No, hindi. Makakasira ito sa kanyang imahe. He said, okay, that's number two. Then number three. Bakit no? Compulsion. Compulsion. C O M. C O M P U L S I O N. That is compulsory. Is it compulsory that you tell me? Is it compulsory? Must you tell me? Ito ba yung nararapat na sabihin sa akin? That one is good. That one is nice. Even I don't understand. Then the man said, mm, not, it's not really compulsory, but I just feel I should tell you. It's like, this is the result of what you want to tell. Number one, you are not sure it is the truth. So, it's not really true. You are not sure. You don't know it's the truth. Number two, what you want to tell me is not good. And number three, it's not something I must do. It's useless. So, it is not true. It is not good. It is useless. Why do you want to tell me? Please go away. <laughs> that was it. You two use these things. I will give you the biblical one. You submit it to me as an assignment. Philippians chapter 4, verse 8. Eight standards. Anything you want to say, if it fails any of this eight, maybe you shouldn't say it. Philippians chapter 4, verse 8. Let us pray. Huh? No, not finished. We will pray together. <laughs> I know you see, I understand that when we have interpreter, it will also take my time, right? But don't worry. It's fine. And that's why we are here. It's fine. Because she's also developing, right? Maybe tomorrow she will be the one to preach. She's already gaining confidence. So it's not that. So it's not one man show. Huh? Tomorrow it can be you that will come. I saw Sister Esther too. We are saying it in Indonesian. Let's go. Let's start our feet. Have you learned something today? Yes, sir. Will you be more careful the way you talk about other people and the way you talk about yourself? Be careful. Be careful. Amen. Say, Lord, help me. Now, like I told you last Sunday, some of you had to apologize. We had spoken bad about so long before. Sometimes, in fact, I know I, I'm not so let that go. Maybe you said something about someone in the past and the person went to prison. Yeah, it's possible. There are there are some ladies that are on earth today. They have told lies that somebody wanted to force them, and the person was taken to court. But they knew that is not true. They just don't like the person. Maybe the person did not propose to them. So they lie that the person wanted to force them. So they take the person, the police take the person, they take the person to court, and the person goes to prison. They are on the earth today. That kind of people, how do you want their lives to be good? 
When they start moving from one problem to another, they don't know where it's coming from. When they are children, because whatever you do can manifest in the life of your children. I hope you know that. Yes. Even if you told them lies and you are fine, and then your child cannot marry. Oh. They are 30 years, 40 years, no, no, or they are married, no child. It can be. Or they, it may not be child. Maybe they have children and something is happening to them. One of them has no strange sickness. It can be. Because you lied. Their mother lied. Their grandmother lied. And so the grandchildren are suffering. Say, God, forgive me. Any way I have talked bad about people. All forms of gossip, now you know they are very bad. Father, please forgive me. And if there is anyone who has really hurt me and is paining my heart, Lord, I forgive them. I ask you to forgive them. Please pray in the name of Jesus. Lord, have mercy on us today. All we can say is please have mercy. There is nobody here who will say, including myself, that we have always used our tongues the way we should. Sometimes you use your tongue angrily. Lord, have mercy on us. Lord, be merciful unto us. Help us to use our tongue to bring life and not to kill people. Help us, Lord. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Our Father and our God, we thank you for your word. Father, we thank you for your word. Lord, salamat po sa inyong salita. We receive grace to use our tongues well. Help us to listen more. More, much more than we talk. This week, Correct everything that is wrong in our lives. And we thank you all this. In Jesus' name we are praying. Amen. Let's share the grace and fellowship. In the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, the love of God, and the sweet fellowship of the Holy Spirit be with us now and forevermore. Amen. Surely, goodness and mercy shall follow us all the days of our lives, and we shall build the house of the Lord. Amen. Yeah. Our sister, we are happy to see you. It's your first time, right? Both of you, it's your first time. Second time. Remind me your name. Player. Player. Okay, yeah, yeah. I remember the name, but I didn't remember the face. I'm sorry. That's the truth. I remember the name. God bless you. What's your name? Marissa. Marissa. Oh, Marissa? Marissa. Marissa. Ah, we used to have one Marissa before, right? That name too rings again. No, only one, only one. Only her. But this is your first time. Yes. God bless you. I hope you are blessed. Right. Praise the Lord. I wish you the grace. Please let's join our hands and make a big, big, big circle. Thank you, Jesus. Please, again, listen to this message again. How many of you listen to the, our last week message again? I'm sure. Oh, don't say amen. Many of you did not listen. Yeah. That's why he said amen. So listen, okay? God bless you, Jesus. Name. We are going to the
Yeah. <laughs>